This is breaking news in the case of the American Korean War vet uh, who was pulled off a plane in North Korea, held captive for more than a month just moments ago. We got word from North Korea's state-run news agency that 85-year-old Merrill Newman has been deported. In other words, he's either coming out or already out of the country. Again, we can't independently confirm that. Paul Hancock is monitoring late developments from Seoul, South Korea, joins us now on the phone. So what are you hearing there? Well, Anderson, we're hearing from KCNA that, uh, that Merrill E. Newman has been default, deported. Uh, the statement uh, news media saying that, uh, that Newman had tried to confirm the whereabouts of spies and terrorists who had been trained and dispatched by him while he was in North Korea. Now, this is uh, why they had arrested him in the first place. They say he was part of a special operations team during the Korean War, which was working against North Korea. His family had always said that it was a case of mistaken identity. Uh, but the uh, KCNA has now said that, that because he admitted to this crime, we saw that last weekend, he was uh, reading out a, a sheet of paper admitting to this crime. We don't know if that was coerced or not. They said that they believed he was sincerely repenting. And also because of his advanced age and his health condition, they decided to deport him from a humanitarian viewpoint. Now, we're trying to find out if this is it in fact the case uh, that Newman is uh, either in Beijing because he has been deported or on his way back to the United States? We're still trying to confirm this, Anderson. All right, so we don't know about his whereabouts now uh, or uh, the condition he's in. We saw that video and we're showing you some still photos from that uh, alleged confession that, uh, that he read on uh, North Korean uh, state television. The bow he did at the end of it, clearly something uh, written uh, by the North Koreans or prompted by uh, the North Koreans.